Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Jemskal and welcome to a walkthrough of the Hidden Unicorn quest in Sims Free Play. This quest unlocks at level 14 and it is part of the main series of quests. As soon as you've completed all the previous quests and are at the minimum of level 14, you will get this pop-up that says, New quest available, the Hidden Unicorn. There is a three-day time limit on this quest. A magnificent beast has appeared in Simtown. Follow the magical unicorn and the show jumping hobby will be yours. So with this quest, we are going to unlock, if we complete it within the time limit, we get access to a wondrous unicorn rocking horse for our toddlers. And if we just complete this quest or whenever we complete this quest, we will open the gate to the show jumping hobby. So we'll unlock the unicorn and the show jumping hobby. The first thing we need to do is to inspect the show jumping gate. Your sims have hankered to do some show jumping and the field to the right of the stables would be the perfect place. Investigate the lock on the gate at the stables. So let's head over to the stables. Once we're over here, let's whistle over a sim. You may have been clearing these areas for the different hobbies. I haven't started that yet, but we don't need to bother with that for this quest. This is the area that we want, which is the show jumping area. And this is the gate that we need to inspect. You just click on that and that is complete. Now we need to investigate the horse. Your sim doesn't know who locked the gate, but it's going to take incredible power to open it. Wait, is that a horse near the lake? What's that doing there? Have a sim investigate the horse near the lake at the stables. So where is the lake? It's over here. Oh, it's a unicorn. Let's click on the unicorn and investigate horse is 14 seconds. While she's doing that, I'm going to give you a little tip to complete this quest in time. I'm going to go over to another sim. And I have just come over to a house. I'm going to whistle over two sims. There are two tasks within this quest that can be started early. So what you want to do at this point is come over to a stove and you want to go into baking and bake Rocky Road. Where is it? All the way down here. Bake Rocky Road for 12 hours with one sim and then go to another house. And then at another house, I'm going to click on a bed and deep sleep for six and a half hours. So what you want to do is make sure that you don't come over to these houses until a specific task pops up within the quest. So there will be a task to bake Rocky Road and there will be a task for a deep sleep. Don't go to those houses until that task has popped up. We have finished investigating the horse. Now we need to check Unicorn's horn. Your sim can't believe their eyes. Is that a unicorn? A real, live, sparkly unicorn? Have your sim check its horn to make sure it's real. Let's click on the little um, superhero from a discovery quest there. Come to say hello to us. Click on the horse, the unicorn I should say, and inspect the horn for 24 seconds. All well, the other horse has come over to say, this is Jason, our pet horse. We have finished that. Now we need to talk to the unicorn. Wow, that's definitely a real unicorn. It looks like it has something to say. So talk to it, okay? Talk to it for two minutes. Aw. We've finished talking to the unicorn. Now we need to go home and call a friend. The unicorn didn't speak in the way that most sims do, but spoke of candy and rainbows. Your sim needs to tell their friends about this immediately. Have them call a friend on the phone at home. So we need to go home. We can go into the houses, like the one where they're baking the rocky road and having the deep sleep. We could go into them now because they've not actually completed the task. It's only once they've completed the task we can't go over. I don't know if Alicia has a phone at home, but we'll see. We might have to go over to one of the other houses. She does have a phone, so let's click on it and call a friend for four minutes and 30 seconds. Alicia has finished calling her friend. Now we need to call two sims to the stables. Now that your sim's friend knows about the unicorn, they can't wait to see it. Bring two of your sims to the stables. So let's head back over to the stables. Once we're at the stables, go into sim tracker and whistle two sims over. Now let's laugh with sim. The unicorn is gone. Your sim covered up the embarrassment of the unicorn's absence by telling their friend that it hoofed it. Have your sims laugh together at this hilariously bad joke. 
So click on the other sim and laugh with sim for five minutes. Oh, look at them. Giggling away. <laughs> We have finished laughing with a sim, now we need to investigate a tree. Now that your sims have finished drying their eyes from the unicorn joke, one of them has spotted something sparkly in one of the trees near the lake. Have a sim investigate a tree near the lake at the stables. So, over here, there's an exclamation mark if you don't know where to go. Click on the tree and investigate for 2 minutes and 12 seconds. We have investigated the tree. Now we need to talk to a sim about unicorn. Hmm, the tree has some kind of glitter in it. This can only be the work of a unicorn. But your sim doesn't know where it went. Time to get some help. Talk to another sim about the unicorn. And click on talk about unicorns is 1 minute and 30 seconds. We have talked about unicorns. Now we need to look up unicorns on a computer. The sim hasn't seen the unicorn, but did suggest checking the internet for more clues. Have your sim look up unicorns on a computer. So I need to be careful here when I head back home and not go to the places that we are doing the deep sleep and the baking. So I know that where Emma is, is a safe house to go to. We will go over there and we have a computer over here. Let's just whistle Alicia over. And then click on the computer here, which is only a two star. We need to look up unicorns and that is 17 minutes. That is task complete. We have finished looking up unicorns on a computer. Now, the next thing is talk to a sim about shy unicorns. According to the wondrous internet, unicorns are magical creatures that like to meet people, but are also terribly shy. Have your sim ask another sim about how unicorns cope with shyness. So we've got a spare sim over here. So let's click on the other sim and talk about shy unicorns is 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Let's just clean up some of this mess whilst we're over here. We finished talking about shy unicorns. Now we need to read Pooping Rainbows. Your Sims friend saw a great book on the subject of unicorns. It also had a special chapter all about shyness. Check it out. Go read Pooping Rainbows. It's in a bookshelf. So I think what I'm going to do is buy a bookshelf for over here. I'm just a little bit, I can't remember which houses my Sims are in that are doing those things, the bake in the rocky road and stuff. I don't want to go into another house and ruin that whole thing. So, living room section and let's... Can we buy a two-star bookshelf? I'm sure we can. Where are they? Uh, okay, here they are. Let's... Yeah, we've got a two-star here for 700 Obviously, you don't need to buy a bookshelf if you already have one. Let's click on it. And Pooping Rainbows is 8 minutes and 6 seconds. It sounds like an interesting book, right? We've finished reading Pooping Rainbows. Now we need to talk to a sim about the unicorn. According to the book Pooping Rainbows, unicorns love to jump. What if the unicorn was waiting at the stables because it loves show jumping, but your sim came and scared it away? Perhaps they can coax it back with some sort of food. Talk to another sim about what unicorns eat. So let's talk about unicorns for 1 minute and 30 seconds. We finished talking about the unicorn, now we need to bake Rocky Road. Your Sims friend had the answer, unicorns eat Rocky Road of course. Bake some Rocky Road to lure the unicorn with. So obviously if you didn't already do it, you need to click on a cooker, go into baking and find the Rocky Road and do that for 12 hours. We have already done it, hopefully you took that tip as well. And over here, oh in fact I don't think... It doesn't look like Chloe has quite finished. She has got, oh, 44 minutes left on the baking of the Rocky Road. The Rocky Road is now finished. Now we need to call a sim to the stables. Great, the Rocky Road is ready and it's time to lure that unicorn out of hiding. Have a sim go to the stables now. So let's head over to the stables. And I already had a sim over, so that's just automatically completed. If you didn't have a sim over, obviously just go into the sim tracker and whistle one over. Now we need to leave the rocky road for the unicorn. Your sim can see the perfect spot to put the rocky road near the show jumping gate. Have a sim place some rocky road near the gate. X marks the spot. So over here, click on the X. 
weeks and Leave Rocky Road takes 12 seconds. It seems to me like a bit of a strange thing to leave for a unicorn to be honest than Rocky Road but fair enough. That's now done. Now we need to wait for the unicorn. The trap is set so all your sim needs to do now is wait. Have your sim wait behind a tree near the lake and wait for the unicorn to return. So we head back over to the trees by the lake. And click on the exclamation mark over here and wait for unicorn is 12 hours and 30 minutes. We have waited for the unicorn. Now we need to have a deep sleep. So this is the task that we did before. So we have got this all ready for us. Or you should have this all ready for you. <gasps> There's the unicorn. But it looks too shy to come out and eat the rocky road. Your sim thinks they should leave so the unicorn can eat in peace. Why not have them get a little rest while they're at it? Have your sim go for a deep sleep in a bed. So obviously if you didn't do this already you need to go home and have a deep sleep. But we have Melissa over here who has finished her deep sleep. So we can just head over to her house and the task will complete automatically. Now we need to go to the stables. Great, a good sleep is just what your sim needed. Oh wait, the unicorn, I wonder how it's doing. Go back to the stables. So let's head back to the stables. Once you're over here, you'll have to go into the sim tracker and whistle a sim over. I already had a sim over here, so it's just completed automatically. That could be the same for you as well. Now, oh, there's a note, read the note. Oh look, the unicorn left and he ate the rocky road and he unlocked the show jumping gate. Wow, is that a note near the gate? Have a sim read the note near the show jumping gate. X marks the spot. So I'm just going to bring over a different sim because the sim that is over here I want to use for something else. Let's click on here and read note for one minute. So while she is doing that, I want to head over to Alicia's house where Alicia and Matt live. Oh, she is not at home. Let's send her home. Now she's at home, let's call Matt over and I need these two, they are engaged, I need them to keep being romantic because this is going to be our little family, our second little family I should say. We have got Chloe, Tony and baby Joshua, our first little family that we made in the Lovers in the Air quest and the 2.5 Sims quest but we're coming up to where we're going to have toddlers now and I wanted to have a baby and a toddler so we're going to have a another married family with a baby you can see we're kind of ready over here and we're gonna get um, Alicia and Matt to get married in a minute when they are finished their little woohoo there and then they can have their baby maybe they're making their baby right now <laughs> back over with Melissa at the stable she's finished reading the note now we need to repair the show jumping gate the note was from the unicorn it said thank you for the rocky road in return, I've unlocked the show jumping gate. I must overcome my shyness, but I will return when the time is right. Incredible. Tap on the show jumping gate, then repair it. So with Melissa, who's already over here, click on the gate. And it's going to take 8 hours and 50,000 simoleons to complete this. Wow, I'm so glad that we used that little um, Japanese retreat trick because... There's no way I would have had enough money to do that. To be honest, I think that these values are probably too high for a quest so early on in the game. I'm not sure how they expect you to do that, in all honesty. Alicia and Matt, although they are got their back to each other right now, they don't really seem like they're very into each other, but they are in fact ready to get married. So let's click on them and get married for six seconds. This is our couple that is going to have a baby. So we need to get them married first before they can have a baby. And they are now married. Alicia and Matt are married. So they can head home and start making their baby. Back to the quest. Over at the stables, the show jumping gate has been completed. So let's click on it and task complete, repair the show jumping gate. And we have got 100% on this quest now. Congratulations, you've followed the rainbow teachings of the unicorn and in turn you've gained access to the show jumping area for your sims. And congratulations, you've gained access to the most sparkly rainbow charged rocking horse of all, a unicorn rocking horse. So that's our limited time prize that we got for completing it within the three days. And the next quest, oh no, congratulations, your sims got the gate fixed. 
And now they must clear out all of the rocks, tree stumps and weeds. Select a sim, then tap on a clearable to remove it. So yeah, like everything within the stable, we need to clear the show jumping area. But we can't do the show jumping yet because we haven't done the horse tricks and the horse vault. So we'll have to do those first. But the next quest that we've got is in the clubhouse, which we need a toddler for, which luckily we are ready for. Hopefully you are ready and you have baked a birthday cake so you can have a toddler or you already have a toddler maybe. You maybe already have aged up one of your babies in your town. Let's go and check out the prizes and what we've unlocked from this quest. So over at the stables, we have unlocked the show jumping hobby or the show jumping area at least. We haven't got the hobby as yet because we need to uh, clear out this area. After the next quest, the next quest is the Inder Clubhouse quest. And then after that one, I'm going to have a video in this Let's Play about the stables and the hobbies over here. Because we've got three different areas. We've got the Tricks Hobby Gate. So we can unlock that area first. And then the Vaulting Hobby Gate. And now we've also got the show jumping as well and you kind of have to do them in order but we haven't unlocked the show jumping now by completing this quest but we can't do the show jumping until we've done the vaulting and we can't do the vaulting until we've done the tricks so i will explain all of that in the video stay tuned but it's i mean it's very simple you can just get going on repairing these gates and get going with the horse hobbies over here at the stables the limited time prize that we got for completing it in the time limit was the rocking horse and that can be found in the home store in the toddler section. The rocking unicorn, not the rocking horse, we have rocking horse already. The rocking unicorn, let's just place the first one is free and then they are 1,500 simoleons after that. And we'll get a toddler out here playing on it so we can see what the options are. This is what it looks like. Let's click on it and we can rock out for 30 seconds, play cowboys for three minutes or rescue damsel for 20 minutes. I don't think there's different interactions depending upon which one you do. I think there's just a different time and of course it gives fun to your little toddlers. We'll watch Joshua just get on here. Bless him. There we go. Just a little bit of fun for our toddlers. That's limited time prize. I wouldn't worry too much about completing that in the time limit to be honest I mean it's a nice little thing to have but we have got like I say we have already got this rocking horse so we still have a rocking horse for them in fact you may even prefer <laughs> the first one I think I probably prefer the rocking horse as opposed to the rocking unicorn and it's still the same interactions that you can do there on the rocking horse. But there we go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to tune in next week where we will be doing the In The Clubhouse quest. Comment down below with suggestions for any sims you want adding into the town. Don't forget all of these sims that we are playing with are viewer suggested. So make sure you pop them down below in the comment section and I will do my best to add as many of your suggestions as I can. But thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you soon. Bye.